The Greater Media Boston Innovation Event, in conjunction with Bentley University, hosted their second event on October 19th at District Hall. The conversation centered around stories from local Boston business owners, from Coach Up and Mother Juice, as well as finance professionals from Accomplice, who have taken the traditional venture capital path, as well as those who have raised funds on platforms like Kickstarter. Our keynote speakers included Ellen Fitzgerald, co-founder of Mother Juice. You know, if you don't have the money to bootstrap a company yourself, you can, you can crowdfund a, even a little bit of money will, um, is, a, is a pretty good signal to an investor that you have a lot of demand for whatever your product or your service might be. Arian Radman, co-founder of Coach Up. Ideas are cheap. Anybody can sit around and come up with an idea, but the ability to execute is what really kind of sets the companies who are going to make it apart from the ones who aren't. And Court Johnson, venture partner at Accomplice. And so the early stage team, I think, is the most important to the success of a company. Like you can't, you can't afford redundancies. So, uh, you know, if you are a sales guy and so is your partner and you're looking for technical help, well, you probably aren't the right fit team to, to be building a technical company. Alan Hanover, a venture capitalist with over 30 years of experience, was the evening's moderator, who asked several interesting questions on a variety of topics. Accelerators, and I think accelerators are a good way to uh, get initial funding and also to get initial feedback on your ideas, assuming you, you can get in there in the first place. So I'd like to ask them what their experience with the Accelerator and what they recommend. The conversation concluded with an interactive Q&A session from our audience. Visit gmbinnovationseries.com for more details on upcoming events this winter. Greater Media Boston Innovation Series, in partnership with Bentley University. Start the conversation today.